Coach Gene Gallon here with the Chatham Journal. We're here on a Friday night, February 18, 2022, and we're at Horton Middle School. Why? Because it's the championship game for the girls for the middle school basketball tournament, biggest event of the year for the middle school here in the county. And the two teams playing tonight are Horton and White Moncure and Gray Moncure made it. Oh, walk, yep. Moncure made it here on a win over Pollard last night. Horton won their first game. Well, they, they won the first game of the night, not last night, the previous night. Been doing too many games this week, which is okay. I love it. We're here again in the video, and we will also have pictures on our Chatham Journal Facebook page. Good. 24-16. First points of the second half. Horton is up by eight points, 24-16. I believe they're undefeated this year. They got two tall players, 20 and 21. And I'm trying to get some pictures, but I got all these people walking by me, which wasn't a problem the last two days. But today the place is packed, packed, packed. I don't know if the fire marshal is going to show up and say, hey, you got too many people in here. You didn't hear me say that. We get a foul. 436 left in the third quarter. Gonna be in inbound play. Eleven's got it. She played well the other night. Also, we've got videos from the last two days, but unfortunately, I haven't had time to post them. They should be up by this weekend sometime. Ball goes out of bounds. Ms. Brands talking to her players. Eleven bringing up, takes a three-pointer, up and in. 24-19. Montez within five points. There he goes. That one bounces out. Rebound Horton. Nope, nope, nope. Walk. We got 348 left here. Hey, you guys got to get your feet up so they don't run into you. Got a couple free throws coming. Mr. David's walking around telling people to keep their feet up above the mat. So if a player somebody's shoes, look at somebody's feet. 3:40 left. Shot goes in. Go within three points. Bounces out the backboard, still going the same way. Interesting, the other day, uh, Moncure got here by beating Pollard. They actually had a 20-point lead on Pollard going into the fourth quarter. Pollard got it down to eight points, but Moncure still won it. And that's good for two. 26-21, five-point lead right now for Horton. Over to 11. Takes a shot, hits the bottom of the backboard, and he jump ball. We 
We got a timeout by. We got a timeout by Horton. Yep, there we go. We'll be back after this timeout. Thanks for watching. All right, the crowd's definitely into it. Coach Lynn has told her players what she wants. She doesn't want to be up by only five. I know that. Her daughter, Takia, plays uh, for Northwood High School. I believe she's a junior over there. Over 12 to 1. Takes a shot. Block. Gets it over to 11. The other day against Pollard, 11 would go in, drive it, get layups. Takes a three-pointer. It is now a two-point game, 26-24. I didn't think that three-pointer was going to go. She didn't have time to set. There's a running jump, a running shot. That one rebound by 21 goes in, 28-24. I should have brought my earplugs. My Dollar Tree special earplugs. Now buck twenty-five. And she walked. Left corner back the other way. Two oh seven left in this quarter. Evans got it, takes a shot, block, 21 gets the ball, coming back this way. Nice effort by Monk here, except it coming back the other way. Oh, she stepped on the line. At least that's the ref call that you got to hear on video. You can decide for yourself. She gets fouled. She gets a stop. Got one free throw coming up. Goes up and in. Three point play. 4 31 24. Seven point lead for Horton. Eleven drive to the right. Back over to the middle. That goes up and that's two three pointers for number 11. Wow. I wasn't here for the first half, so I don't know if she had any other three-pointers. But Horton is calling for another timeout. I would suspect the coach is telling him, put some pressure, get your hands up on the shooter in the corner. We'll be right back with 59.8 seconds left in the third quarter. That's the buzzer. Time for timeout to be over. Again, folks, we'd really appreciate it if you give us some positive vibes watching this on YouTube. Look, just give us a thumbs up. Click on that. It helps us with the algorithms. That's good. 33-27. Six-point play. Let's see what happens here. Levin's bringing it up. We got pressure on her. Takes it in the corner. Nope. Taking it up the middle. Takes a three-pointer. Off to the right, rebound. Rebound Monk here. Back over to 11. She takes another shot. This time it's hot. This time it's a shot. Lays up there. We got 24 seconds left, 35. The 27, eight point lead for Horton. She's 
takes a shot, hits the front of the rim. You got four, three, two, one, boom. Yeah, you know the Horton players are happy. They may not have expected this much. They're up by 10, but they were up by as, only as much as two at one point. We got the cheerleaders out here. We're gonna get ready for the fourth quarter. We'll be back. <laughs> 